weather forecasting has always been at the forefront when it comes to machine learning. There already have been a lot of solutions out there for the last 10 or 20 years from the deep learning when it comes to weather forecasting. But now, there has been new evolution where Remy Lam, Alvaro Sanchez and their colleagues at Google have released this new weather forecasting system called as GraphCast. This weather forecasting system is based on graph neural networks or GNNs. Its 10-day forecasts outperform those of conventional and deep learning methods of all the past years. And that is why it's a huge thing. A GNN processes input in the form of a graph made up of nodes connected by edges. It uses a vanilla neural network to update the representation of each node based on those of neighboring nodes. For example, nodes can represent customers and products while edges represent purchases or as in this work, as shown in this abstract of paper, nodes can represent local weather while edges represent connections between the locations. GraphCast produced graphs based on high and low resolution weather maps and processed them using three GNNs called encoder, processor, and decoder. The authors of GraphCast have trained the system on global weather data from 1979 to 2017. Given a set of weather conditions and a set of weather condition measured six hours previously for all locations on Earth, GraphCast learned to predict the weather six hours in the future and multiples thereof. Using 2018 data, the authors compared GraphCast's 10-day forecast to those of a popular European system that predicts weather based on differential equations that describe atmospheric physics. GraphCast predictions tended to be closer to average weather conditions and it performed worse when the weather included extreme temperatures or storms. When it comes to weather forecasting, it looks like deep learning is the really good uh, contender for the next generation of solution. I will drop the link of this paper in video description so that you can go in and learn more about it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please also consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.